Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. It's Thursday, so that means I take a look at one of your designs that you have linked to me in the comments section of one of my videos. But before I go any further, I'm just going to say it doesn't matter which video you put the link in, I'll always be able to find it thanks to YouTube's little search system where I can search for the Steam community and it will bring up all the links you have sent me for me to check out. I do not check them out in any particular order, I just choose one at random and off I go. But for today's video, we're going to be looking at the Blackjack Mining and Salvage Ship. Now this thing really caught me off guard because it's three ships basically. Three ships for you to use that can all be attached into this big thing right here to have a super ship essentially. The ship only features iron thrusters so it's only capable of flying in space but that doesn't really matter in the long run. But let's start with, if I get into my character, the right hand side. So on the right hand side we have got the mining arm where we have three drills, this cockpit, a rotor, two displays and a spotlight. Now it looks like you can just fly around and mine stuff with this attached onto the ship. But if I was to get into the cockpit and bring up the HUD, you'll notice that I have two options. Number one is, of course, the drills we can turn on and off. But number two, number two removes us from the ship. So now we can fly around and mine everything we need. So I can come around to this asteroid, fly forwards a little bit, turn on the drill and start mining. And then when I'm done, I can just turn the camera around and then fly myself into place and hopefully I'll be able to lock myself back onto the ship. And you can see on the back there, there is a merge block, which is how I primarily connect to the ship and a connector to pull all the resources out of the drill into the main ship. My docking skills are not the best. As my friends will probably say, I have destroyed many a bases while attempting to dock ships. And there we go, I've now docked myself onto the main ship and I'm ready to leave this and fly away with the main body. But on the left hand side, we have got some grinders and some welders. Two grinders, one welder and the same situation as the mining arm where we can detach it and go and do our business and then come back and reattach to the main ship. But what about the rest of the ship you are asking? So let's come back into the free camera a little look around. So on the main body we have got this lovely rotor sitting there for no particular reason other than decoration. We've got two spotlights for you to light up your way. Coming around the side we can see the arm where the connector goes to the main ship and all the main cargo containers. Underneath the ship we've got some welders for you to weld up anything that needs to be done. So you can fly a small ship underneath there who needs to be repaired and that'll get all the job done. We've got some iron thrusters We've got some damaged catwalks, I believe, on top of some interior walls for a little bit of decoration. And then we have these two big engines sitting on the side. They contain large iron thrusters and they're being encased by some sloped steel blocks. Coming around the side and to the back, we have some nice use of windows. It stops it from being a blocky design. On the side there, we've got a few more iron thrusters. And on the back, we've got two landing gears and a connector for you to connect up to your base and unload all the resources this ship has collected. And a quick look on the top, we have a nice lot of glass that leaves it very open inside, saves you having to use a lot of lights while flying around in space. And then as for the underneath, as I said earlier, we have got the welders. We have a button there to activate the welders and we've got some modules for the assemblers or the refineries and a little connector at the back there to connect a small ship up to. But now it's time to go inside the ship. So coming around to the left hand side, we'll find this little button with a yellow door. A yellow door that seems to be missing a block on top. I might have accidentally destroyed that block at some point, so I will very quickly just put that back in there. Let's go and put, I don't know, there we go, that'll do. That's now sealed up. But on the button panel over here, we have two buttons. We've got a button to close the airlock, which is the set of doors, and to turn compression on. Opening up this door and coming inside, let me put my lights on. We are greeted by this small little room where we have a button to close all the doors, but I've closed it manually. Pressurize on, pressurize off, and then close the exterior. Then I can come inside the ship, close up this door. We have some more buttons here to turn off the depressurization and, of course, control the doors, but I do not need to press it. But this is the inside of the ship. It's very small but not very cramped. Let's go around over here. So we've got some steps 
leading up here, which will take us to the medical bay and the cryo chamber where we can just quickly recharge ourselves. We have a display screen here which tells you your damage report of any damage taken on the ship. Turning around, we come across this catwalk. If I look to my left, there are the steps that we saw earlier. And we can then go down even further where we have even more LCD screens. Let's turn off the light where we can see the all list, the ingot stockpile and the component stockpile which are in this ship for you to use. Turning around, we've got a load of cargo container to store all the stuff we have collected. And then back here, we have a little chair for you to sit in. There's nothing on the tabs to actually use. And we can press I. I think we can take remote control of the actual blackjack itself. So we can control it from down here should we wish. We have got two programmable blocks. One is the Warthog salvage vessel and the other one is the grinder master. Coming back around here and all the way up to the top, the last thing we have to look at is of course the cockpit, which is this right here, and the lovely little LCD screens which are on the side. So we have uranium, we've got our air vents, we've got our airlock oxygen tanks and cargo space remaining. On the opposite side we've got the battery power and the jump drive. Getting into the seat we now have the master controls. So we have the number one, if we want to drill using the big ship. Number two, if we wanted to use the grinder, which is right there. And number three is if we wanted to weld anything with the welders. Number eight is to turn on the warp drive and let it start recharging. And number nine is to use the jump drive. I always get that mixed up, warp drive, jump drive. You get what I mean anyway. But how does it handle? Well, beans I've done a little bit of mining with this already. It's quite slow on the turning. It accelerates quite slowly. It stops relatively fast left and right is quite slow and up and down is quite slow as well. So it's very slow, it's quite bulky to use once you're filled up with resources but it's still a very useful ship to have around especially being able to detach the miner, being able to detach the grinder and go and do your own little thing. Perhaps you've crashed a ship like I've done multiple times and you needed to gather all the resources back so you can if you wanted to just hop out, come down to here, go outside Find the grinder, there it is, detach yourself and go and start grinding stuff. So I want to start grinding this and now I'm just going to very slowly grind away the station, although I think I hit that a little bit too hard, yep, and I destroyed the welder. But yes, that is basically it for the blackjack mining and a salvage ship. It'll be in the description below if you wish to download it and try it yourself. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.